All right, my friends, today we are gonna make a cute little reindeer. The colors you're gonna need are white, yellow, green, brown, black, and red. You're gonna need your medium flat brush, your medium and small round brush. Don't forget to have your rag and water handy. Now I'm gonna choose a greenish yellow background for my reindeer, but you can change the color if you want. And to do that, I'm gonna take my green brush and first of all, I'm gonna cover the whole entire thing with green. So cover your whole background with green and then we'll talk about adding some fun colors to it. Now that I have my background green, I'm just gonna wipe my brush off. I'm not gonna wash it off, but I'm just gonna kinda wipe it off with my rag. And I'm going to take chunks of yellow, and I mean chunks. I mean, there's a lot on my paintbrush, and just kinda drop it randomly on my canvas, mostly towards the center. Then I'm gonna grab a couple of chunks of white and do the same thing, but I'm gonna have less chunks of white than I am a yellow. Now the goal is to smooth out all of my paintbrush lines. So to do that, I've got my brush wiped off. I'm gonna start at the very top of my canvas and pull it all the way down. And then go from the bottom all the way up. And I'm gonna do this across my canvas. What's gonna happen is, is when I start to run into that yellow and that white, it's going to slightly change the color of my green so that it's a little bit more interesting to my eye. I'm gonna go all the way from left to right and then back to right to left. Now the very last thing I'm gonna do is I really do wanna darken up my edges. So I'm gonna take just a little bit of brown and I'm gonna do the same thing just right on the edges. A couple of spots of brown and smooth that out. Then I'm going to let my painting dry. When I come back, I'm gonna start adding in my cute little reindeer. Now as it dried, I'm not seeing as much yellow and white as I was hoping to, so I'm gonna put some more yellow spots on there and some more white spots and I'm going to blend it a little bit more. So if you're not getting the colors you were hoping for, there's always a way to fix it, not a big deal. So my canvas is totally dry. I'm adding some yellow and some white and I'm gonna just pull those colors in on my background. And after I have them in, I'm gonna add just a little bit of green to my brush there we go. This is what I was hoping for, a little bit more of that brighter color towards the center. Perfect. Now let's talk about adding in our reindeer. I'm gonna let my painting dry and we're gonna add in our cute little reindeer. So my canvas is dry again. Let's talk about how we're gonna lay out our reindeer. I'm gonna use my medium round brush and I'm going to use brown paint. Now I have to think I have a reindeer head plus reindeer antlers. So if I put his face right here in the middle, I'm not gonna have a whole lot of room for his antlers. So I'm gonna come right down here at the bottom of my canvas. This first circle is gonna be below my center line and I'm gonna make a big circle. Yeah, it's a, this is his nose, okay? He got a big old nose. Now don't paint this in just yet, just draw your circle. Then right here at the top, I'm going to make a gigantic rainbow, okay? And this rainbow is going to start inside a little bit and kind of bump up and come back down. It's 
almost like I've got two circles on top of each other. Maybe like I'm making a snowman, right? And then we can just add his, his neck down here. It's just gonna be two little lines, easy peasy. Now I can go ahead and paint his neck in all the way. But watch what I'm gonna do with his nose. So his nose right here, I want the center to be lighter and the outside to be darker. So I'm gonna paint just a little bit of thicker line on the inside of his little reindeer nose. And then I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna take my paintbrush and I'm going to grab a lot of white paint and drop it in the middle and a little bit of yellow paint. Okay, I did not wash my brush off yet. And I'm gonna to start to take those colors and kind of mix them and spin them. And I'm gonna pull them out towards that brown paint. So now that they're all kind of the mixed up, I'm gonna paint this whole center in with this medium brown color. Remember it was just the brown that was on my brush with some white and some yellow. Now that I have that painted, I'm gonna grab my brown again and I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna make circles to mix. So all I'm doing is I've got brown on my paintbrush and I'm adding circles to mix and I'm gonna pull it in a little bit. I'm gonna pull it out a little bit. Circles and circles and circles and pull it in a little bit and pull it out a little bit. And the more I do that, the more it's gonna mix. If your paintbrush starts to get dry, you can grab a little bit of water on it to kind of help get that paint wet again. Pull it out and pull it in, pull it out and pull it in. Oh, I think that looks perfect. The last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take just a little bit more white in the middle. And I'm gonna try to lighten up the little, the middle, <laughs> just a little. Lighten up the middle, just a little. Great, wipe off that brush. I'm gonna do almost the same thing on the top of his head. I'm going to paint a nice chunky monkey line right here nice thick line and then again with my white and a little bit of yellow I'm gonna mix it right in the middle but this time instead of doing a circle shape I'm going to follow the curve of the top of his head so I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna pull that color down and go back up So let's add our antlers in. I'm gonna use black for my antlers. So I've just got black paint on my medium round brush. And I'm gonna start up here in the corner by making a spiral. And a spiral is a circle that just doesn't connect. The more space you have, the bigger you can make your spiral. But I'm gonna make my spiral just connect to the top of his head. And then I wanna copycat that spiral right on the other side. Clean up my swirly twirly line right here. And I'm gonna copycat it on this side. So instead of making my spiral go the same way, I'm gonna make it go the opposite direction. And then, depends on how much space you have, you can add more swirls and twirls to this. Um, I could probably add one over here on this side. Maybe a little baby one right here. If you need to switch your paintbrush to a smaller brush, you can do that. I'm gonna make his little ears. And they're gonna be right here underneath his antlers. And they are going to be a brownie face and a smiley face. 
with white in the middle. And I can take my brush and I can blend those colors together. So remember, when I'm doing my frowny face and my smiley face, I've got my dark brown. Frowny face, smiley face, a couple of white dots in the middle, and then I can smooth it out. I'm also going to give this cute little guy a little bit of hair on the top of his head. So I'm gonna use a mixture of brown and black on my flat brush. Watch what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna kind of tap along the top. So see, all I'm doing is stamping the shape of my paintbrush. And then he's got a fun little mohawk. I'm gonna wash my brush off and I'm gonna let this dry. When we come back, we're gonna add our details on our reindeer. Now that my reindeer's dry, let's go ahead and lay out what his face is gonna look like. Um, first things first, I'm gonna add his nose and his mouth and his eyes, and then we're gonna add some details to our background. So for my reindeer's eyes, I am going to start with finger painting. <laughs> you had to know that was coming. A lot of white paint on my fingers and I can make some really nice, big, bright white eyes. I wanna paint these first because these will take just a little bit of time to dry before I am able to add in my black pupils to them. With my medium round brush and some red paint, I'm going to make a nice big oval nose. Now, if you're not making Rudolph, you can always make your nose a brown or a black color. But I'm gonna make a nice big red oval nose. And then wipe my brush off, but don't wash it off. I'm gonna grab some white paint and I'm gonna drop some spots of white paint at the top of the nose. I'm then gonna take that color and I'm gonna blend it into the top of his little nose. Just like we did with our ears. That way we've got a highlight on his nose. Now I'm gonna wash my brush off. With some black paint, I'm gonna give him a smiley face. And you can make your smiley face as big as you want, but I'm gonna make two little curved lines at the corners. These are like little smiley faces on their own. And then I'm gonna connect them with a bigger smiley face. How cute is he? I'm gonna give him two little eyebrows with black paint right over his eyes. wash that brush off. Now, while these areas are drying, I'm gonna add a few details to my background. You can choose to use whatever colors you wanna use. You do not have to use the colors I am, but I'm gonna use my finger and some white paint, and I'm gonna make some circles in my background just to kind of make it look a little bit more like a party. And with my baby brush, I am going to add a white line from over here to over here, and I'm gonna add some Christmas lights on it. And 
then right down here, I'm gonna make these Christmas lights fall back behind his antlers and behind his ear, and I'll have them just kind of go off the page. Now for my Christmas lights, I am going to use my finger. You guys know that, I love my finger painting, right? And I'm just gonna make little lines every so often, little ovals. I'm just taking my finger and kind of pulling that color down. I'm starting with white because as that dries, I will add color to it and it'll give it a really nice bright color background. All right, I'm gonna let this dry. When we come back, we will add our final details. Let's add the final touches on this cute little guy. Now you can use your fingerprints to redo your ornament or your lights, or you can use your paintbrush, it's your choice. But I am going to paint with my paintbrush. And if you wanna grab a few more colors, maybe you wanna add some blue in, you can. Let's see here, I'm going to do yellow, red, green, blue. So I have to count a pattern out and make sure I put the right ones in. So yellow, red, green, blue, yellow. Now that I have those finished, I'm gonna add a small black dot right at the bottom right, or sorry, the bottom corner, center corner of his eyes. How cute is he? I'm gonna take a little bit of black paint on my baby brush, and I'm just going to connect these lights with small little triangles so that they're connected to my cord. And with my baby brush, I'm going to add a couple highlights to my picture. So with that baby brush, I'm going to take some white paint and on the tops of my lights, I'm just going to put a small curved line. It's just a small little curved line. This is just a highlight on my lights with a dry brush technique and that means that you take your paint on your brush and you kind of scrub it out on your towel so that you just have a little bit of paint I'm gonna add a small line on the top of his nose this is just a highlight on the top of his head and on the top of his ears. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the yellow color on the top of my circles. And you can change up the color you have on the top of your circles if you want, but I like that yellow color on there. You know what you have to do last. It's never a secret. Find a color that's gonna show up on your canvas and sign your name or your initials. Make sure that you send me a picture of your finished product. I love to see what you guys make at home. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can get all of our tutorials. And remember friends, be safe, be kind, and be creative. Have a great day.